Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats for the presentation of our national colors presented by the Wicomico County JROTC Color Guard, then remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Graduates, you may keep your caps on. I want to offer my thanks to the parents who rouse us from our beds when we wish to stay in them, to the teachers 
who have taken the time to connect with us and help us through our struggles, and to the administrators for keeping us on the right track towards our success. Stepping through the doors of Parkside four years ago, we could have never prepared ourselves for what would happen. Life in summary, to be blunt, is determined by how hard we fail. Throughout our lives, we have fallen flat on our faces over and over. However, we do not stand here today in our success by letting those failures define who we are.
Good afternoon. My name is Logan Wagner, and I am the class councilman for the senior class. It is my pleasure to introduce to you one of my classmates, Jack Meyer, who will be delivering this year's scholarly reflection. Jack was chosen out of many eligible students because of his outstanding academics and success in his classes. Not only does Jack stand out with his academics, but also with his involvement in a wide variety of extracurricular activities, including the yearbook club, varsity track and field, and the robotics club. In his community, Jack continuously stays involved by volunteering with coaching soccer, assisting in construction, motivating runners in the yearly city run, and acting as a school ambassador for Parkside. Additionally, Jack was included in Road Kappa Society, New Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, and Project Lead the Way. During his sophomore year, Jack was awarded with the HOPY Leadership Award, which was presented to only one student in her school who exhibits outstanding leadership, potential, and passion. In the fall, Jack will be attending Johns Hopkins University to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. I'm pleased to introduce him to you all this afternoon. So now, please welcome Jack Meyer. Graduated today. 
There's too many to name. But I'll do it anyway. Tyler, Matt, Ethan, Reese, myself, Ozzy, Kenny, Luke, Gino, Ryan, Ian, Levi, Andrew, and of course, Jacob Snake Boot Monarch. <laughs> I'd also like to add that if Woodley and Heberson hadn't tried out this year for the team, I probably never would have met them. But I'm glad they did try out, because they made this year so much more fun. Of course, one more. If all those years ago, Aiden, Zach, Gino, Ethan, Tyler, and John never tried baseball, we would not have our very own 2023 Parkside Baseball State Champion. And those are just a few people that come to mind. I can figure out. A lot of us learned a new skill in CTE, or discovered a whole new career direction. In. Some of us ran for student government, or tried a new instrument, or took a class you weren't expecting to. Maybe you simply tried finding a different way to think about yourself or some challenge you were facing in your life. The point is, we have all tried something different. And no matter the outcome, we have all grown from those experiences. Whether it's something that clicked for us and left us wanting more, or told us that we don't like. We've all been changed in some way from these experiences we've had at Parkside. They're a part of us, our memories, and a part of our history that have helped shape who we are at this moment and who we will be in the future. And those futures start now and with every day ahead as we all go out into the world to see what it has to offer or what we have to offer the world, maybe by trying something new, like college, a new job, a new hobby, new friends, or places to live. I'm not saying you need to try climbing Mount Everest, but if you do, definitely send Briggs a picture of because he loves to post about us. Who can blame him? Maybe we're awesome. I'm just saying, try something new, no matter how simple. In a strange way, exploring can actually keep you on track. If you ever feel lost, just look back on the path you've taken. Every new turn you took, was another step on your way to now. And your next turn will be a part of your work tomorrow. So, as we move on in our lives, let's be open to new opportunities and try new things. Because that is how we grow as people. That is how we become ready for tomorrow. And that is how we make tomorrow ours. Thank you.
My name is Hannah Richardson, and I am the historian for the class of 2023. It is time for me to fulfill one of my biggest responsibilities as a historian, which is to present our class's history throughout our last four years at Brooklyn. To prepare my speech, I have looked through many yearbooks, consulted with classmates, and studied speeches from years prior to ensure that no accomplishment was left unrecognized. While we are all eagerly sitting here, awaiting our turn to walk across the stage, let us not forget all the hard work, dedication, and perseverance it took for us to get here. Our freshman year of high school was one that I do not think anyone could forget. At first, we strutted through the doors of Parkside, ready to take on the world, after showing up and showing off in various tryouts, pre-seasons, and auditions. Many of our students made fun contributions to their Parkside sports teams, even as freshmen, and many teams had very successful years, including our girls' soccer team, who are Bayside champions, our field hockey team, who are regional champs, and both our girls' basketball and boys' soccer teams, who both won Bayside championships as well as regional championships. However, we as a class did not stop at sports. Because the Parkside Marching Rams went on to perform at Del Marva Key and received a score of 90.35, which was the highest in school history. The start of our freshman year was looking promising. We were excelling in sports, celebrating at pep rallies, and dancing our way through homecoming. More importantly, we were all starting to figure out who we were bound to become. Unfortunately, we were not allowed the luxury of having a normal second half of freshman year. Since on Friday, March 13th, 2020, our two-week break turned into what would become a year-long staycation. Now, this is not the end of our story, because while we were at home, on, our class continued to push through school on a screen. The struggles that came with COVID prepared us to come back into our sophomore year better than ever. Coming back to school after lockdown was difficult, to say the least. Reconnecting with old friends, participating in extracurriculars, and modified sports seasons helped the transition back into school run smoother for everyone. Due to COVID, sports during our sophomore year were very different. We didn't start playing small fall sports until January, and many of our teams were only able to play a few games with no playoffs. We were, however, able to have playoffs for our spring sports teams. In fact, our boys lacrosse and baseball teams both won regional titles, while our 4 by 100 by 100 girls spray league team won a state title. Also, concert choir and symphonic band came together and held an outdoor concert to celebrate our return to Parkside. See, not even a global pandemic could stop us. I mean, at this point, we have to be some of the toughest high school kids the world has seen. Going into our junior year, many of us were just ready for some type of normalcy. Thankfully, we were in the building for an entire school year. Crazy, right? Finally, we were allowed to participate in extracurriculars, getting to learn and socialize in person without the burden of masks, and continue to make our mark while leaving COVID in the past. We were back, baby, and better than ever. We started off the year with an amazing fall season with varsity girls soccer as regional champions. In addition, for the first time ever in Parkside history, the varsity boys soccer team won the state championship and had an undefeated season. But we did not stop there. Throughout the winter season, girls indoor track were Bayside champions and girls basketball were regional champs. Slowly, our confidence came back, and we were ready to proceed into the spring season and the rest of the year with optimism, considering we had not yet experienced it normally as classes in years prior did. In the second half of the year, spring sports started up, and our girls' outdoor track won the Bayside Championship with our girls' 4x100 team, winning the state title for the second consecutive year, while many other athletes continued to have amazing regular seasons. Stepping away from sports, both concert choir and symphonic band received superior ratings at our district, respective district festival events and had students from both participate in all shore band and choir. I am proud to say that last year, Parkside's choir made up 12% of the entire all shore choir and both the band and choir had exceptional performances throughout the rest of the year. Alas, our third year of high school was said and done and thoughts of college and careers flooded our minds but we were ready to be seniors, finally getting the spotlight. <coughs> Senior year was something that did not really cross our minds until we got here. I mean, we were too busy having fun to realize our time at Parkside was almost done. 
Many of us entered those doors on our last first day with bittersweet feelings, but pushed emotions aside to perform our best for our last year as Rams. Our sports teams yet again did amazingly as varsity boys soccer were regional champions and made it to the 2A state semifinals. Not to mention everyone had a great winter season as well, especially the boys in North track team who are Bayside champions and won the state title in pole ball. Following this, Concert Choir and Symphonic Band yet again received superior ratings at District Festival and moved on to all shore and all county performances. Then came spring, where we finished off strong with the baseball team winning the state championship after having an amazing regular season and watching outdoor Trump win another state title in pole ball for the second time this year. Now that everything is winding down and all our senior nights, practices, and performances are done, now all we have to worry about is getting our diplomas. While our time at Parkside was cut short, we came together as a class, making the most out of our challenging situation, and in the end, came out victorious. Sitting here today, we should feel proud of ourselves, knowing we accomplished so much in so little time, which is something no other classes can say. As we enter a new chapter in our lives, we will never forget everything we learned and experienced at Parkside. We are now prepared to end for anything the world throws at us. So let's, get, so let's give ourselves a little pat on the back and take a breather because we made it and finally got the happy ending that we deserve. Governor Larry Hogan 
and now serves as the representative member of District 5. Mr. David A. Fox, who was elected to a four-year term on the Wicomico Board of Education in 2022 as the representative of District 4. And last but not least, please welcome Dr. Micah Stoffer, superintendent of Wicomico County Public Schools. As a former Wicomico County Public School student, teacher, and Parkside principal, he was enthusiastically greeted back as the new superintendent in 2022. Thank you all for attending today's graduation program, and thank you to all the other members of the board and special guests who may be in attendance tonight. Now please join me in welcoming our superintendent, Dr. Stauffer, to the podium. Good evening, everyone. It is an absolute pleasure and honor to speak with you tonight and to be here for the Parkside High School Class of 2023 graduation. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our students for successfully completing their high school journey. I also want to thank all of the parents, the grandparents, guardians, families of our graduates, friends, community supporters, our wonderful teachers and administrators, as well as all of the staff. Thanks to your unfaltering support and encouragement, these graduates now stand ready to go out into the world as thoughtful young adults. And we are all truly grateful for your support, your time, and the sacrifices that you have made to help make today possible for all of them. When I think about the class of 2023, the word change comes to mind. This class came into high school in 2019, but then March 2020 occurred and changed our entire world. From instructional packets, to virtual learning, to back and forth, in-person and virtual learning, to physical distancing and masks, from everything being structured differently, to playing sports in different seasons, to then back to what we termed a new normal. Your world changed dramatically. Over the course of these last four years, this class of graduates has probably had to adapt to change more than just about any other graduating class. And they've done an amazing job. The fact that they say change is the only constant in life makes change possibly one of the greatest lessons to learn from in life. Talking about how times change, for the parents and grandparents out there, in 1983 there was an ad campaign that said, don't talk to strangers. In 2003, there was an ad campaign that said, do you really know who you're talking to on the internet? Don't meet people from the internet alone. But in 2023, we have Uber. It now seems perfectly acceptable to use the internet to pay a stranger to come meet us alone and then take us somewhere in the car. <laughs> so times do change. And seniors, the fact that you are here ready to graduate shows that you have not only faced change, but you have overcome it and even embraced it. How will that achievement help you achieve beyond today? What I want to express upon our graduates this evening is that you have proven that you can successfully adapt and overcome significant change. After today, your world is going to change. In the days, weeks, or months ahead, there will be times where things may seem scary. You'll be nervous. It'll be a struggle at times, or you'll even be overwhelmed. Much of that is caused by all of the change happening around you and the apprehension that you have about it. But what I want to end with is this. Everything you need to achieve is already inside. That's why you're all here today graduating. You have already faced change and you overcame it. Moving forward, you will face change again, and now you'll have all of these experiences to draw from and overcome that too. Maybe even your achievement over change can lead to bigger changes that you have for yourself. The founder of FedEx is Fred Smith. He's been named one of the most influential leaders of our time. He talks about change like this. You are the way you are because that's the way you want to be. If you really wanted to be any different, you would be in the process of changing right now. So embracing and harnessing change is powerful in helping you become better and achieving more. Think about it. If you aren't where you want to be yet, change will be the only way you can ever get there. 
And if the change that is happening is something that you don't enjoy, then that change is just going to make you stronger in the end when you get through it. And sometimes change even causes a bad situation to end and a new opportunity to arise. And when you're tired and you don't feel like you can do any more, reflecting on how far you've come, how much you have accomplished, and how much things have changed can help you realize you've already overcome a lot. And it gives you the passion and the strength to move forward and not just settle and stay where you are. So to the class of 2023, I would just challenge you to remember all that has changed in your time in high school, all the change that your journey has held, and all that you had to overcome. And then use those experiences and the fact that you succeeded through it as a springboard into all the exciting change that you had of you now. You can do it, and you will do it, we believe in you. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Stauffer, Board of Education members, Wicomico County Public School leadership, and other esteemed guests. And last but certainly not least, good evening to the class of 2023. The class of grit, the class of perseverance, the class of steel. You have much to celebrate today, and I want to acknowledge just a few accolades. Of the 254 Parkside graduates, 39% of you are graduating with academic distinction. 13% of you are graduating with cum laude distinction, which is 3.7 to 3.99 cumulative GPA weighted. 17% magna cum laude distinction, 4.0 to 4.29 cumulative weighted GPA. And 9% of you are graduating with summa cum laude distinction of 4.3 or higher cumulative weighted GPA. You've completed a combined total of over 22,000 hours of student service learning projects in the school and the community and the total amount of scholarship money offered to students and reported for the class of 2023 is currently at $4,545,246. My message to you today is centered around our daily themes that were featured on the morning announcements this year. If you happen to be in the building first period, and if you happen to be at school on time, you know that we had a theme for each day of the week. We coined these days Mindset Mondays, Tenacious Tuesdays, Wellness Wednesdays, Thankful Thursdays, and Fun Fact Fridays. There was a method to my coining of these theme-based days, and I just want to touch on each of them briefly with you. The Mindset Monday morning message was about setting the tone for the week and ensuring that you have the right mindset to lead off the week with success. Here are some of the tips and quotes that I shared with you on Mindset Mondays. Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you, 90 how you react to it. Avoid negative bias thinking. Remember, it takes three positive thoughts to offset just one negative thought. So stack your positivity deck and look for the opportunity in every challenging situation. Spend time each week setting your mind on what is important and aligning your goals with your values. A mind troubled by doubt cannot focus on the course to victory. Be confident but not arrogant. Creating a healthy mindset is an investment in your overall well-being. Tenacious Tuesday morning messages were about building tenacity and the benefits of being tenacious. Here are some thoughts I shared with you on this topic. Tenacity is a fierce blend of persistence, determination, and grit. It is your passion and it is your purpose. It is a trait that makes you different, the difference between failure and success, and takes you from mediocre to excellent. The difference between a person with fierce tenacity and someone who lacks that same drive is a forward-thinking mindset. Forward thinking is a chance for significant change, giving yourself a blank canvas to draw who you want to become. I posed some questions to you on Tenacious Tuesdays to think about how you are going to demonstrate tenacity. Are you putting in the preparation needed to be successful? Have you set goals for the week? Are you surrounding yourself with other tenacious, determined people who will have a positive influence on your life? Are you embracing challenges and seeing them as opportunities for growth? Are you acknowledging your self-worth? 
I talked about the benefits of tenaciousness, like confidence, courage, decisiveness, resilience, fearlessness, openness to change, motivation, ability to earn respect, ability to self-regulate, ability to overcome failure, ability to build a team or a company, and an overall sense of purpose and success. On Wellness Wednesdays, messages about the importance of taking care of your mental and physical health. I gave you some social wellness tips, like turn off your smartphones, or at least for part of the time. Online communication in this day and age is very important, but it's just as important to have meaningful face-to-face -face conversations and interactions with peers, family, and other individuals. Learn to express yourself without being behind a screen. Surround yourself with good people. Learn the power of forgiveness. Holding on to anger only continues to negatively impact yourself. Learn to apologize sincerely when you are wrong or have hurt someone unintentionally. Some intellectual wellness tips shared will challenge yourself to try something new. Play some brain games like crossword puzzles to strengthen your memory. Read a book that isn't required. Learn time management skills and prioritize your tasks. And finally, I shared physical wellness tips about exercise, hydration, following a regular sleep schedule, the dangers of vaping and drugs, and the importance of taking active brain breaks. Our weekly Thankful Thursday messages was about the importance of showing gratitude and doing acts of kindness giving back to your community, and thanking others for what they do for our communities. In these weekly messages, I remind you to stop and reflect on what you were grateful for each week. It is easy to get wrapped up in the day-to-day, -day, but reflecting on what you have to be thankful for helps you remain focused on all the positives in your life. Be thankful for the struggles that you go through. They make you stronger, wiser, and more humble. Don't let them break, break you, let them make you. Do acts of kindness and community service regularly. This is a part of being a productive citizen of society. And finally, we made it to Fun Fact Fridays. It was fun finding some quirky facts to share with you each week, but the message I really wanted to, you to take away from that weekly message was not necessarily the fun and quirky facts, but the message to make life fun whenever you can. Our time on Earth is short, and life will be what we make of it. The hard work, the right mindset, your tenacity, and taking care of your overall physical and mental well-being are important factors to success. But as Tony Robbins said, success without happiness is failure. So make sure that you choose joy along with the right mindset, work ethic, and values. Don't settle for less, take risks, fail forward, and learn from each mistake. Get uncomfortable, challenge yourself, and always think big. I look forward to seeing where the next chapter of your journey leads, and it is my sincere hope that you will be outstanding, productive citizens who give back to their communities and become role models for the next generation. Be kind, do good deeds, say thank you, work hard, show up on time, which is early, and never settle for anything less than your absolute best. You are an amazing group of young men and women, and I am blessed to have had the opportunity to serve as your principal. Congratulations and best of luck on all of your future aspirations. Therefore, Dr. Stalker, in recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Parkside High School, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements established by the Maryland State Board of Education and the Wicomico County Public School System. Accordingly, it is my pleasure to recommend and present to you for the conferring of diplomas, the graduating class of 2023. recognition of the records and achievements of the students in this class and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as the superintendent of the Wicomico County Public School System, it is my absolute pleasure to certify and accept for the conferring of diplomas the graduates of Parkside High School, class of 2023. Congratulations.
Dorian Alonzo Cortez. Aiden Gary Coffee.
Riley Lee Grant. Cameron Michael Grant. Riley Lee Grant. Natalia Samira Green. Taylor Brooke Griffin. Gage Alexander Campbell. Nathan Gregor Hamilton. Heaven Maya Divine Candy. Elizabeth May Haynes.
Juan Jogi King Jr. Daniel McBrush. Johnny Yet Lamb. James Dylan Lambert. Riley Elizabeth Lane. Logan Paul Lavigny. Brennan Miles Learn. Gracie Ann Lewis. Alexis Mariah Lightfoot. Woodley Lamont. Mara Elise Linder. Nyland. 
Diego Armando Reyes. Grant Jameson Robot. Mackenzie Ferguson Perez. Madison Ferguson Perez. Karan Rakem Lamar Perkins. Thomas 
stronger. You go, girl! Denasia Lachey Taylor.
our graduation ceremony that once seemed so far away four years ago as freshmen is now right here on our doorstep. The class of 2023 is bidding farewell after a life-changing pandemic that has disrupted every aspect of our daily lives. We have been challenged, tested, and pushed to the limits. Yet, we persevered, and we stand here, proud graduates of high school, trying to make the most of the situation we have. The world has changed drastically since COVID-19, and we have adapted to it in ways we never thought possible. We witness sickness, isolation, and loss. However, it also allowed us to come together as a community, rediscover ourselves, and prioritize the truly important things in life. Our loved ones, our health, and our education. As we stand at these crossroads, moving on to the next journey and opportunity, we look back at the struggles that brought us all together. It forced us to reconsider our lives, to think for ourselves, and to strive for something greater. From virtual classes to distance learning, the class of 2023 has faced unprecedented challenges, but together we have made it to graduation. We have discovered how to learn differently, embrace technology, and demonstrate resilience like no other graduating class before. These are, these are the best lessons we can carry forward into our next adventure, especially as we face the challenges of an uncertain future. As we look ahead to our future, it is important to remember what we accomplished during these challenging times. We have shown perseverance, adaptability, and compassion, and we will continue to lead the world into a more equitable and just future. Finally, I would like to thank the faculty and staff who tirelessly worked to make this year a successful win. You face the same challenges we have and demonstrate the same resilience and adaptability. In closing, I urge the class of 2023 to make their mark on the world, to lead with empathy and compassion, and to continue to prioritize life's most important values. Although we may be departing from high school, you will always remember the lessons taught in the memory space. We can face any challenge life throws at us with courage, resilience, and an unwavering determination to succeed. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023.